गुड डे ऑल ऑफ यू टूडे गेट क्वेश्चन इज ए बार ऑफ सिलिकॉन इज डोपड विथ बोरॉन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ टेन पावर सिक्सटीन पर सेंटीमीटर क्यूब एंड अज्यूम टू बी फुल्ली आइनाइज इट इज एक्सपोज टू द लाइट सच दैट इलेक्ट्रॉन होल पेयर आर जनरेटेड थ्रू आउट द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द बार एट द रेट ऑफ टेन पावर ट्वेंटी पर सेंटीमीटर क्यूब सेकेंड इफ द रिकॉम्बिनेशन लाइफ टाइम इज हंड्रेड माइक्रो सेकेंड intrinsic carrier concentration of the silicon is 10 power 10 per centimeter cube and assuming 100% ionization of the boron then approximate product of steady state electron and hole concentration due to this light exposure is okay i'll explain the problem clearly a bar of silicon is doped with boron concentration of 10 power 16 per centimeter cube take a bar of silicon okay it is doped with boron concentration doped with boron at with the 10 power 16 per centimeter cube then when you dope a silicon pure silicon with the boron type impurity automatically it results p type bar okay so now the semiconductor is p type now when this p type semiconductor is exposed to the light like this when it is exposed to the light like this new electron hole pairs will be generated new electron hole pairs will be generated okay and this new electron hole pair generation rate is 10 power 20 per centimeter cube second and after the generation there will be a lie for 100 microsecond okay after the 100 microseconds they will be recombined that is the reason this 100 microsecond is called recombination light time okay then for the intrinsic silicon the concentration is 10 power 10 per centimeter cube and when you dope with the boron it is totally ionized then the approximate product of steady state electron and hole concentration due to the light exposure is okay that we need so now what i have to find after the exposure of the semiconductor to the light in addition with the previous electrons and holes there exists new electron and hole so at that time what is the product of electron and hole concentration okay so now let us see first we must see the case before the light before the light exposure okay the boron concentration na which is 10 power 16 per centimeter cube you must take it as hole concentration then it implies what is this p not hole concentration then what is electron concentration electron concentration n not is equal to n i square by p not since yes we know this formula it is nothing but mass action law n p equal to n i square mass action okay so now what is n not n i is given n i is 
10 power 10, this is n i. 10 power 10 whole square by p naught. How much is p naught? 10 power 16. So the answer is 10 power 20 by 10 power 16. It is 10 power 4 per centimeter cube. After the light exposure. We know new electron hole pairs will be generated. New electron hole pairs will be generated. Therefore, hole concentration P is equal to P naught plus delta P. What is delta P? New holes generated. Same way, electron concentration n is equal to n naught plus delta n. What are this P naught and n now? Hole and electron concentrations before the light, before the light exposure. Okay. Now we have to find delta P and delta n. Delta P or delta N. Because new electron and hole pairs are generated. For every generated electron there exists one pole. That is the reason delta P is equal to delta N. The formula is generation rate G into recombination lifetime tau. Generation rate G into Recombination lifetime tau. What is the generation rate here? See here, this is the generation rate. G. And what is the recombination lifetime? This is the recombination lifetime. Simply you substitute those two. 10 power 20 into 100 into 10 power minus 6 because it is microsecond. Okay. So, what is the answer? It is 10 power 20, 10 square 10 power 22 minus 60. It is 10 power 16. Okay, the concentration is per centimeter cube. Therefore, what is N or what is P? P naught plus delta P. That is, what is P naught here? 10 power 16 plus 10 power 16, it is 10 power 2 into, it is 2 into 10 power 16 per centimeter cube. Same way, N is equal to N naught plus delta N. That is, what is N naught? 10 power 4. Plus, what is delta n? 10 power 16, which is approximately equal to 10 power 16 per centimeter cube. Okay. Then, at last, what do you define? You have to find product of steady state electron hole and concentration. Therefore, product of hole and electron concentration n into p is equal to n is 10 power 16 into P is 2 into 10 power 16. It is simply, totally the answer is 2 into 10 power 32 per centimeter power 6. So now, in the given options, the answer is D. D is the answer. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.